Hey, welcome back to another video. I've just bought four fans for $30 in New Zealand dollars. I plan to turn them into generators and see how much power they provide. I'm not expecting much because it's going to be a little AC motor. So I might end up just taking the blade off and using that to drive a different type of generator. So you're just going to want to remove that sticker and below it you'll see a little rubber stopper and then there's a little um ring clip just pop that out it's got a split in one point of it and the grease will hold it in place you can just push it back in the hole and the fan pops right out you can see the coils and some chips computer chips i'm just going to be cutting these wires off because i won't be using them using it as a fan anymore, but um, you can always leave them there if you want to use it as a fan again later. So I'm just reusing those wires, just the red and the black, don't need the yellow. And underneath the coils, there's three places to attach them. You'll have to test with a meter um, and see which ones provide the highest voltage we're just going to bypass all the electronics and connect straight to the underside of the coils you can see here they come down through these two legs and i've just soldered right onto there to get to both of these on the one side of the chip put everything back in place and just blowing on it it creates about three volts this is ac remember to set your meter to ac and of course um, to use it you'll probably have to convert it to dc with a rectifier diode so i recommend sitting on this this on something like a roll of tape just to get it pushed up and expose the little part that the ring clips into. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's not too bad. Then put that rubber stopper back in. Try not to get too much grease on there because you're going to want to put the sticker back on and it's not going to stick onto a bit of grease. So I think this would make a great little wind turbine if you had a, an array of them. But at the moment it's not really creating many amps. I put a hairdryer on it and did get around 15 volts from two of them together. Here's my river turbine. The computer fans are under the water at the rear of it at the moment. And the wires are running through that cable. And this is the whole contraption out in the open. Thanks for watching, guys.